Hi guys, I'm so glad you decided to join us. I'm Miss Jenny. And I'm Miss Clintana. And today we have Cooking with Christ. It is all about thankful, and we are talking about gratitude. With Thanksgiving coming up, there are so many ways that we can be thankful. And there is an awesome story in the Bible that is all about being thankful. The story we're talking about today is the thankful person with leprosy. And we can find that story in Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. Long ago, when Jesus walked the earth, he did many super amazing things. One day on a long walk to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through a village when 10 men approached him. They had leprosy. Mm. Now in the time that Jesus lived, leprosy was a terrible sickness that could be caught very easily. And because of this, people with leprosy were sent outside of the places that they lived and they were called unclean. They were treated very badly because of their sickness and absolutely no one wanted anything to do with someone who had leprosy. But when these men saw Jesus coming, together they called out to him and they said, Jesus, have mercy on us. Jesus was not scared. Oh no, he told the men to go to the priest and show that they were now clean. And as they left Jesus, they were healed. They had leprosy no more. Wow, when one of the men saw that he was healed, he came back to see Jesus shouting praises and praising God. He was so thankful for what Jesus had done. Jesus asked him, did I not heal 10 men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned giving glory to God except you? Then Jesus said to the man, stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. So the man was healed because he had faith and he was so thankful for what Jesus had done for him. Sometimes it's hard for us to be thankful. Especially if things are not going our way. But in every situation, there's an opportunity to be grateful and thankful to God. I love that Bible story. Me too. I love how the man returned to thank Jesus for healing him. I like to send notes of thanks when someone does something nice for me. Well, I like to thank people with sweet treats. Now, that does sound amazing. Maybe we should make some treats that we could use as thankful gestures. That sounds great. So today we are going to make haystack treats. That's right, super yummy. Here's what you'll need. You'll need 12 ounces of chocolate chips. You'll need 12 ounces of butterscotch chips. And you'll need 12 ounces of chow mein noodles. So first you might need a grown up to help melt the chocolate and the butterscotch. I won't let Miss Jenny do it because she burns it. That's right. After you melt the chocolate, you just want to mix it into the chow mein noodles. Make sure it's good and mixed. When it's good and mixed, you're going to want to use a scoop of some kind. So you can plop it or drop it on parchment paper and then let them cool. All right. Oh, those are okay. Well, we're going to start over here. Sprinkles. Oh, move the sprinkles. Put one here. And then, as Miss Jenny is putting, uh, plopping down this, the uh, the sweet treat, we're going to put some nuts on these. 
or or if you don't like nuts you can use um we have some little rainbow sprinkles or some chocolate sprinkles that you can use so we'll use a mixture of these just to have them fun Oh, that does. I like mm. the rainbow sprinkles. And you could even maybe use some sea salt. Sea salt on there. Sea salt, that sounds good. Yes, or even if you don't have the chow mein noodles, I bet you could use some pretzel sticks. Wow, this looks like such an amazing treat. You know, I have a few people in mind that I would like to say thank you to with these yummy treats. Me too. So, my wonderful friends, we hope you had an amazing time with us. And before we leave, let's end in prayer. Great idea. Dear Lord, we are so grateful for all you have done for us in our lives. May we show gratitude and love to everyone we meet. Amen. Amen. All right, see you next time. <laughs>